Hi there folks and I hope you're all well. Well this is going to be a very short video. Um, I've been asked as has Mithril um, a surprisingly large amount of times how we go about doing our dreadball bases. Um, because what we've done is we've tried to uh, give the idea of where the threat hex is and where the threat hex is not on our bases by painting one side red and one side blue. It's the simplest, simplest of processes, but maybe if you haven't come across the paint, you might not be aware of it. And what we're using is Tamiya colours, and they're clear. And when they go on, they give a lovely clear um, finish to the bases, as you can see. So, we have this wee fella here. Base is completely see-through, but all it is, is successive coats of Tamiya clear. And I'm going to be doing the exact same shortly with all of these bases. Um, but all it is, is build it up in layers, do one side, let it get fully done and then do the other. So it might be six, seven layers and you want to thin your paints using Tamiya's X20. Um, it's the best thing for thinning their paints. And that's really as simple as it is. So I'll take you through the process of what I've done on these other ones with some stills. Um, but I thought I was well doing a wee video just to share the process. Um, because just the sheer amount of questions um, that both Mithril and myself have had is how we go about it. Um, which did surprise me. Um, so thank you for those that like them. Um, and those that go ahead and do something similar. Let me know about it. And take care guys, and I'll stick up the still showing you as it goes through the stages. Take care. Well folks, I told you it was a simple process, so that's the bases done. For those of you that care to watch at the end, or are rather observant, um, you'll see there's a different coloured base down there. Now the reason I've got one green edged base, again done by Tamiya Clear, but the reason that I've got that is for the ref bot, because the ref bot's got 360 degree vision, but no threat. So, just to differentiate his, his base, or her base, or its base, depending on what's doing it, whether it be an alien species, a robot, a hermaphrodite, or whatever. Um, that's what we're going to go ahead with. So that's how we do our thread ball bases, um, the hex bases. So red's the threat, hex, blue's the non-threat. For those that asked, hopefully that's a help. Take care all.